Okay, these are just internship uh, stories. When I did my internship as a chiropractor in the ghettos of Chicago, uh, I ended up there late because of financial matters. I was struggling to get through school financially, and I missed orientation. Uh, and the first day there, I went up, and we had to call all of the other doctors doctors. Like, even people we'd known, all the, we met in college. We all had to call each other doctor. And so I was upstairs with two senior interns, and they were with a clinician. I'm not going to mention his name, Dr. Nisley. He was not a nice man. But uh, they needed a form, and because I was late with my finances, I was late with the orientation, so I missed the orientation. So he said, go get this file, go get this form. And I looked at him like I was stupid, which at that point I was, stupid and ignorant. And uh, he looked at me and he said, look, shithead, go get the file, go get those forms. So I got to the door and he was going on self-importantly with the other clinicians and I said, excuse me, uh, it's Dr. Shithead to you, <laughs> which I thought was a, a scream. He didn't find it that funny. We didn't become very good friends after that. Uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have said it, but it was worth it to me. I found it absolutely hysterical. Uh, I got suspended from clinic. Uh, it was a winter day in Chicago, uh, one of the worst snowstorms in recorded history. Uh, I went to uh, treat a patient, and I was given... I had done something to a doctor... What was his name? I'm not going to mention him. He, uh, Dr. Thalgy. Uh, I'd done something to make him angry with me. And so he gave me a foreign speaking patient, one who spoke Spanish, which really, that's tough to deal with. I just, I didn't, they would give you a little card, and you would read the card, and then you would say, Donde esta Dolores? And then they would answer you in Spanish, and it was like, oops, so I asked a question, I don't even know how to understand the answer. It was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. But at one point, uh, Dr. Um, whatever his name was, came up to me and knocked on the door and said, not only have I given you, you know, the dirt detail, a patient who doesn't speak English, uh, I'm giving two of your patients away. And I really uh, cared for my patients at the time. And I said, okay, look at the files. Let me look at the files. And one was a complete invalid and one was a partial invalid. And uh, he said, I said, who are you giving them to? And one was a lady doctor and, I, and one was a male doctor. I said, well, why don't you give this patient to the male doctor? And uh, he said, what? I said, why don't you give this patient to the male doctor and this patient to the female doctor? Because, you know, you have to manhandle. You have to lift this lady around. He said, I'm the clinician. I'll decide what to do. And I said, then why don't you treat the patients if you're so damn good? And I went in and I closed the door with this poor little Spanish lady. And uh, the door flew open and there was the clinician again. And he was irate. And he took me into the x-ray reading room and started yelling at me and attempted to suspend me for the second time. Uh, and I'll get to that story in just a second because it's 3 minutes and 30 seconds and you're probably just tedious of my stupid stories right now. www.micpeakperformance.com